next question is i saw that um in a post that you once uh, wrote in your time at mayweather um there's an explanation for how conversions uh or conversion extensions can be used to have a pass based pipeline so basically if you have a repository hosting two different uh let's say applications and you want to only compile the, an application in case that also changed um then you have this drone exactly. Yeah. This one here. Um, also very useful as uh, somebody had the smart idea to put a node application and that they are Unity application in the same repository. So <laughs> that is very in favor for us. Um, <laughs> is there, what I saw in the post is that, or else in the documentation here, is that there is this limitation for YAML anchors and pro uh, protected pipelines. Um, and dependencies uh, that might be an issue. So just for this plugin here, if I just from understanding it, if we say that a uh, exclusion or inclusion uh, path is set for a specific uh, yeah, path of the repository, uh, does that completely remove that step from the pipeline YAML before it is then processed by drone or what is the... Yeah, so the way that this works is if the plugin determines that a step should be included, nothing has changed. It mm -hmm. leaves the YAML alone. Uh, if it determines a step should be excluded, then it puts, it inserts a exclude star uh, parameter into the YAML that then gets passed back to drone. So that's the manipulation that's happening. So once drone receives the YAML and starts to parse it, it will see, okay, this is something that should always be excluded. And I will exclude it. You won't even see it in the drone UI. Uh, you won't see that step yeah. or the or the pipeline stage. Uh, the question be... I asked like, was Nothing. also a study, the dependency issue. So do you have to yeah. depends on in the pipeline? And if uh, basically, so if I have a dependency on a step that is then excluded, will it still have the correct order in the sense of it will get removed, but then just depend on the previous step instead of the one that got removed? Yeah, it's a bit tricky if you have depends on. Um, so basically, you have to write your depends on and your include excludes so that they match. Uh, so if you have something that becomes excluded, it's anything it depends on should also have been excluded, if that makes sense. Um, okay, and if not, that will be an error because with there the, will be an error. I, know, yep. I know that with the conditions when you have a when uh, status success, for example, condition, and the previous step uh, fails, of course, it will not run. But if you have a you know, condition of success and failure or something, and the previous step has been excluded by a tag event, for example, and now we have a push or some other condition, then drone still keeps these dependencies in order. So if you depend, I... yeah. And so yeah. the question was like, does this also work with this one here or is that a bit special on the dependencies? This I would say is probably special. Uh, okay. if, if something becomes excluded, uh, Drone, I think would throw an error if if you have something with a dependency. It depends on something, some previous step or pipeline, and that previous step or pipeline becomes excluded, and the uh, following step or pipeline that depends on it is not excluded. I believe right then drone will throw an error because it will say, okay. uh, you know, it, I don't see this dependency. Uh, but if they both become excluded. Drone is fine. Then I'm good, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Then the next question for this thing is basically the plugin that you have here is exactly quite useful for having pass based inclusion and exclusion, which for a monorep or something of multiple things is quite useful. And I see that it's been a topic in the drone community over a place. Uh, so nice to have found this. Um, Great. Now I probably have to go try it. Uh, 